thank you for joining me on a happy day. A little bit different today. This video is going to be a three in one according to how I'm planning it. Let's see if it works out. I got me an orchid, but it isn't me that got the orchid. Anna got me an orchid, to be exact, from Großrechner Orchideen. Thank you, Anna, so very, very much. You see, the thing is that um, this orchid comes from Kenya, well, Africa in general, and how did they do this box? But it's found on the slopes of Mount Kenya, and I've been there. I've never seen this orchid in the wild though, but I know her grow habitat because I've been to Mount Kenya quite a lot. Great golf course there. Mount Kenya Safari Lodge, if you're ever in the area. Great golf course. Anyway, I digress. So this is hopefully an Orangus luteola variety rhodosticta, which has, of course, the typical classic white or beige Orangus blooms, but with a little bit of an orange column, which is super cool. So I'm just going to put this little note aside. Of course, fragrant at night. Hello. One. What did you do? Two. Anna. Three. Anna, what did you do? I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. I only have one tub. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, two, three. So I had a sneak peek at the note. Anna, Anna, thank you. <laughs> double chance of success, double chance of it growing better. Ooh, very, very excited. And Großrechner Orchideen. Oh, hello. <gasps> Anna, oh my goodness, pressure. Oh, the pressure. This is a Tulumnia species. Yeah, Anna. <clears throat> oh, my last Tulumnia species did not make it. Right. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Look at this little cutie. Check this out. Look at her. Wow, she is massive for a tiny little Tulumnia, but so many fans. I think I know how I'm going to make this one work, Anna. I think now with the pub material, the inorganic mounts. This is impressive. Surprise! Oh, exciting! Thank you so much. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, dear. Let's get you. Can we put you in this? And of course, the gardener has to start now. No, I don't like it in this. We're going to get something else for... Oh, I didn't tell you what it was. Tulumnia Hawkinsoniana. I had a berry agata once upon a time, did not make it. But she was planted, well, potted on the lava rock like all my other Tulumnias. So that growth habit, ah, excite. Okay, Arangus luteola from Mount Kenya <laughs> or Mount Elgon, either way. Yeah, after my Arangus mysticidia care collab, I know that Großrechner has had Luteola for a long time and they were on sale and I was actually gawking at them and I thought, don't do it. Nope, not happening. And then Anna, Anna, Anna sends me a message and says, how about I do something and get you an Orangus Luteola? Can you believe it? I mean, I never talked to her about that, ever. And then she comes up with that question and I'm, yes, of course, and how can I thank you and all that. <laughs> so this package arrived within four days, not including the weekend. Unfortunately, I was not home yesterday to do a quick unboxing. And that is why I had to wait until next day. And I'm not waiting now until the gardeners finish with their toys. <laughs> In we go here. Oh, Anna. Look, I got me two. <gasps> Thank you. 
And why is it that when I do unboxings, it's always a breezy day? Rhetorical question. <laughs> Here they are. Whoops, careful. Here they are. Ta-da. Oh, babies. Little ones. Amazing. Thank you, Anna, very, very much. Sorry if I'm shaking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, they are so cute. So cute. Mm. I love them. Right. Now I need to do this usual procedure. Because they have little hooks. Let's see. I've got my welcome cocktail ready. Right here. In you go. And I have, I have actually, yeah, these were all already in storage, but I have, and this is the point of this um, video, just one moment. There we go. That's it. The point of this video is I've got two more boxes coming and I'm going to add them after this clip here as and when they arrive. So who knows which is the next clip? Is it going to be... Look Orchidein because Floralia is sending me finally what was pending in the order from May. Or will it be, wait for it, <laughs> will it be tropical orchids from Portugal? Because Fernanda Nascimento sent me a link and you know what I found on that link? Wait for it, if you've been on my channel long enough, you will go, no way. Yes, way. I found me a white bridal, a Catlianthi white bridal. Yes, a wish list orchid that was even above the ranking of a Durigan. And I've looked everywhere for her. And I went on to this link that Fernanda sent me thinking, oh, let's just have a look, you know. It's not like I'm looking for anything. I've been looking for the Catlianthi white bridal everywhere, asked every nursery repetitively. I'm talking four years now before the rest of my collection came. And here we are. So who knows what the next clip will be? Is it Luque with the remainder of my Floralia order? Or is it Tropical Orchids from Portugal with a white bridal? I don't know. I can't wait to see who comes up next. And if you're going to stay for that, fantastic. Really appreciate it. In the meantime, Anna, thank you very, very much for these three cuties. I hope I do them justice and I hope that I can dedicate a bloom spike to you the moment they bloom. I'll see you when the next box arrives. Thank you so much, Anna. Isn't this just the cutest little logo ever? <laughs> Tortuga Veloz. I can tell you that this is a very clever little logo because in case something goes wrong, they already have their disclaimer in the logo. <laughs> In this case, ta-da, it actually was correct. Tortuga Veloz, the speedy turtle, was in actual fact speedy. And here we are. I do believe that my white bridal is in here. This is from Tropical Orchids, Portugal. <laughs> Look, oh, I can't believe it. I can read up. So we opened the box from the top. And I love the size of this package. Um, but you know what? I also appreciate this package. <laughs> okay, right. You've been on my channel long enough. You know that I have a difficulty with an order from 2018. And I have not had the heart to get rid of orchids that are languishing. So this is a possible replacement for a Chantilly Lace Twinkle. Yep, she was only 15 euros. So, dang, I'm going to get one orchid that has been on my wish list for four years. And I'm going to get a replacement of a Chantilly Lace Twinkle. Not been my other one just yet, but kind of do a comparison of the two. If this one is more vigorous or not. So there she is. Little twinkle, chantilly lace. And we'll give this one a go and see if she is a better performer than 
the one I got in 2018. All right, so let's put you over here. We'll take care of you. Sasahibi, but... <laughs> I know. I am childishly excited for my Paglianti White Bridal, and this is a named cultivar of Snow White. Either way, she is a White Bridal, and I have no reason to assume or consider her as mislabeled. She is a bifoliate. I know it's September, but we'll deal with her as and when she responds or is reacting with regards to new growth or new roots, no matter the time of year. A good climate in the pot is more important than waiting for the right time of year. It's up to the orchid to say, this is my time, you need to address me immediately. So let's go in and have a look oh my goodness welcome welcome beautiful beautiful white bridal there she is i can't believe it <laughs> from her exterior nothing tells me that this is a mislabeled orchid she is exactly what i've been gawking at in pictures for yonks so are we getting any roots at any point in time? I see a nubbin starting to swell there, but nope. What I will do though is soak her in some hydrogen peroxide tomorrow. But first of all, welcome cocktail. I like the media a lot. Bark and pumice. Yeah, I like that. You see, if, I, if the timing is wrong, I am not going to in insist on any repotting simply because I am eager beaver to get her into my preferred setup of Lekka and self-watering. Not interested, that is not priority. With media like that, I can bring her over all the way to spring or whenever her roots start to activate. And that is the same with my little Chantilly here. My Chantilly looks a lot better than what I got in 2018, so that's a good start. She has got much healthier looking leaves already. Looks like she's already bloomed as well, which is amazing. Because my attempted blooms and buds of Maya Chantilly, they always blasted. You saw the packaging, it was amazing. Beautifully done with padded paper as well, not just regular paper. But um, obrigado, Tropical Orchids, Portugal. I really appreciate this. So this is obviously the new growth of this season. So she will be staying in bark, but I will be removing a little bit of the top media here just to clear the rhizome a little bit from all the wet that this bark would produce. The bark is still hard and tough, there is absolutely no rush to be going in and addressing this Chantilly lace at all. Well, the roots look a little bit tired. Well, we've got something to work with. I am not complaining. I am not complaining. Just having my little investigations. And here we go. Now, this little cocktail here is at 6.5 pH because of the organic media. But we still have 60 parts per million of CalMag and we still have 40 parts per million of seaweed. But I've just raised the pH to 6.5 to counteract the fact that it is organic media. And happy, happy days. And you know what I'm going to do now is, I did say this would be a three in one unboxing. Um, I received an email that I happen to have another orchid in the mail from somebody who is kind enough to send me an orchid. So I don't know when that's going to arrive, but I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just going to show you how the other orchids have fared in the meantime. This is the little Tolumnia hocasonia, and the roots are hydrating nicely. She has had her little dose for the day. Now we're just going to hang her back up and let her dry out. And here are the two little cutie beauties, <laughs> the luteolas. Roots are also hydrating beautifully. 
and they are now at the point of having had enough for the day and will dry out overnight and then back into the Greek tubs they go. White bridal, Chantilly lace, replacement if necessary, a gift from Anna. Thank you. I'm very, very blessed. And these unboxings have been nothing short of amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. I hope. Stay safe and take care. Bye.